Look at the hook we're using. Look, look at shampoo. Jaws, you want to put it? Oh, 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 oh. What's in here? What's up, Raw fam? So today we're over here at Bud and Mary's and we're gonna be going after some massive swordfish. So we're actually gonna be dropping these baits thousands of feet down. This is a light, so then the swordfish can see where our bait is, look around, smell the bait, and go eat it. This is our big old swordfish bait. Guys, look at the hook we're using. Woo! We're gonna just take this. Look, watch this, I'm gonna feed it out perfectly. We have lights on here also. We're just gonna let it back, let it back. There's gonna be like a little thing. It's gonna be a little piece of floss. If you need to undo it, you just push like that and take it off. So, go like that. Take this little, oh, big old weight. Drop it down. down it Sounds goes. good. Hey guys, maybe we could go off and catch a big, massive swordfish. Hey, what do you think our chances of getting a swordfish today is? Uh, I'd say about 90%. 90, 90 it's, a, it's a pretty good moon. Everything's pretty good. So hopefully we get a big old swordfish. Oh, oh, he's pissed, he's pissed. Look at him, look, he's gonna jump. Ah! Turn around, turn around, there's a big old swordfish. There he is, guys, that's a big old swordfish. Or not so big, but. There he is. Turn on the boat there. There you go. Got him. That is all. Frank, can you get in here? Woo! That's a big old swordfish right there. You want to measure him? Look at that, guys. That's a big old swordfish over here in the Florida Keys. Come here, Nick. Get in the picture, buddy. Nice. Woo! We're on the my, board. My, sword, my job, first Frank. swordfish. You're going to measure him? Ah, ah. Chill. <laughs> chill. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Nope. Uh, he's a keeper. He's a Woo! keeper. Woo! Look at this, Ralph, man. We got a big old swordfish. That's its sword. Watch out. Watch out, Ralph, fam. Woo! Guys, now this is a keeper swordfish. We're going to take this guy back to the Ralph, fam. And of course, we're eating good tonight, baby. You ready? Ah, right, close, close, close. Bring it down. Bring it down. He's in there. Get it. Get Woo! it. Baby. Nick, baby. Good job, boss. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, this is the man, the myth, the legend. Nick stands and getting it done, baby. Woo! It's like a dream fish of mine. Yeah. A dream trip, of course, guys. I love you all, fam. Let's get out of here, and of course, get back to the raw fam. All right, raw fam, so I'm actually gonna clean a swordfish for you guys, and I'm gonna show you guys, you know, taking some meat off the bone. I'm gonna take it. Oh, oh my God, bro, look at that gorgeous swordfish meat right there. Just zoom in, that is like the perfect little ceviche, or that's like the perfect little swordfish. Oh yeah. Guys, we're gonna be eating some awesome swordfish. Just like that. We're going up into this swordfish right here. I gotta cut through these little bones right here. Wow, we're off hand. Look at this. That's a beautiful big old piece of swordfish. Look at that. Oh yeah. Just come look right here. Just gonna go like this. Beautiful little piece of swordfish. Come here, guys. Come. Oh, Jaws. Look, look, look. Jaws is coming. Jaws is coming. Jaws, you want it, buddy? Oh! 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 He's not afraid of that swordfish anymore. It's a beautiful, fatty, piece of just beautiful swordfish. Ready? Oh, my red tail wants some. Red tail, you want some? Come here. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jaws came back for seconds, boy. <laughs> so we have a big, massive swordfish right here. You know, this fish lives like 2,000 feet down in the ocean, so most people would actually wonder what is in a swordfish's belly. Let's find out. Come here. Just gonna take it. Just gonna open that baby up. What's in here? Oh my gosh. Okay, what is this? What the heck is this fish? This is like a, uh, looks like a barracuda, but I know it's not, just some deep water fish. Look at that, there's a squid. Look at this, squid. So this is what you would make, um, what is that stuff called? Calamari out of? Yeah, this is calamari. Okay, so that's a squid right here, look at this. Throw that right there, what's this? Another squid, oh wow. These are some big old squids, look at that. Looks like they're on mainly a squid diet. Only squid, that's all they're eating right now. Squid, 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 squid. And it looks like that's all she wrote. You know, these beautiful swordfish this time of the year, I guess are only eating squid. So I obviously have a bunch of blood on my hand, but we just checked what was inside the belly. And honestly, this squid looks really fresh. You guys wanna see if Jaws will try and eat it? Come here, guys. Jaws, you hungry? You want some you want some calamari? You want some calamari, Jaws? 
You'll never get to see this ever again. Oh my God. Guys, I think he liked it. That is a big, beautiful piece of swordfish. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna go perfectly on the grill. So all you really gotta do to you know, fillet this up, just make it a big old thick steaks, just like that. I love you all fam, and of course, let's go eat some awesome epic swordfish inside the kitchen, so see you over there. What's up Brawl fam? So we just got done cleaning that big beautiful swordfish. Now it is officially time to start cooking our beautiful little swordfish. And of course, you know, the first step is to add salt and pepper. Then we're gonna dice up that garlic and put it in with that beautiful little olive oil. Mix it around, give it a good little spin. We're gonna be just, you know, lazing it on our beautiful little swordfish. Of course, we're gonna zest a little bit of our uh, lemons, but you know, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it awesome and we're gonna do it right now. So let's do it. All right, guys, so it's time to add our swordfish. Look right here. Beautiful, big old piece. Lay away, lay away. When you're cooking a big, thick piece of swordfish like this, if you guys come right here, you can see this fish looks absolutely gorgeous right here. You know, we have a little stick of butter. You just get a good little healthy amount. Not too much, not too little. You know, everybody obviously loves butter. Just gonna throw it in there on like a medium high. Let the butter obviously turn into like a little liquid. And then of course, just lay away and put your beautiful big old piece of swordfish in the pan for three to four minutes on each side. And then of course, we're gonna be eating some, woo, some beautiful big old swordfish. It's gonna be epic, so you guys ready? So of course, then we're gonna be cooking one, two, and three, of course. We got three beautiful big old pieces of swordfish, and uh, I'm getting hungry, so <laughs> let's cook some swordfish. All right, Raw Fam, so our swordfish is you know about wrapped up. It's almost done cooking. We have our little plate. We're just gonna put that bad boy right there. And of course, just like that, and let it rest. Very important. All right, Raw Fam, so that is how you guys go off. You catch a swordfish, you clean a swordfish, and of course, you cook a beautiful, <gasps> it's dripping a little, but guys, obviously the juices mean that it's, it's gonna taste great. Ready? Look at that beautiful piece of swordfish. Fresh swordfish, of course. I mean, so gorgeous. Here we go. Oh my gosh, Raw Fam, there we go. This is some beautiful, ooh, This is some beautiful looking swordfish right there. All right, everybody, dinner time. Time to eat. We're gonna get my family out here. We're gonna be eating some beautiful big old swordfish. So, All right, Raw Fam, so of course the last step, you gotta peel the skin off, ready? Just like that, I'm just gonna, ooh, oh yeah. That ain't satisfying, I don't know what is, so. So of course, before I eat with my beautiful family, we have our little fork right here, and I, I honestly wanted to show you guys some swordfish, ready? So this is what it looks like. It's beautiful, it's nice and thick. It kinda has the consistency of yellowfin tuna, but probably a lot thicker. Um, it just does, definitely has that like steak feel to it. So you ready? Oh my God. Talk about juicy, talk about fresh fish, and talk about freaking amazing. I don't know what the heck is going on with my face. I can't control anything because of all the lemons and the, oh my gosh, this is like the most craziest mouth exploding. This is like fireworks in your mouth, honestly. I love you all fam, and you know, obviously that is gonna be wrapping up today's awesome, crazy adventure. Raw fam, I love you guys so much. Of course, we went out with my buddy, Captain Nick Stanzik on the Broad Minded. Of course, guys, we caught some beautiful swordfish right here. Obviously, we're gonna enjoy this beautiful swordfish. Thank God for Obviously, such a beautiful animal to harvest. I love your all fam. I'll see you guys back at the raw fam or at the pond. So, of course, raw fam, as you guys can see, this is my beautiful swordfish's head right here. I mean, look at their beautiful, big old eyes. I mean, this is just a fish that when you harvest it, you can't take this fish lightly. I mean, when you catch one of these fish, you gotta soak it up. You gotta really soak it up and just thank Mother Nature for just honestly blessing you. You know, having the ability to go off and harvest an animal of this caliber, you know, we're obviously gonna consume all of this beautiful swordfish. You know, nothing's gonna go to waste. And, you know, just, I'm 
so blessed to be able to go off and catch an awesome fish, of course with my buddy and my family, you know, Nick Stanzik and my dad, my buddy David, my camera guy, and it was an awesome trip, and of course we got an awesome catch to prove for it, so. So long story short, I want this memory to last, so I have a big old swordfish bill. Come here guys, I'm gonna show you guys this. I'm gonna cut its bill off right here. And uh, basically, this is his beautiful little bill. This bill right here, this isn't horn hunting. This isn't, you know, going after a sword that's valuable. This is a memento of an amazing day with a bunch of amazing people. And for the rest of my life, this beautiful swordfish will live on. We'll have, you know, Nick Stanzik's boat right here. We're gonna paint it in and, you know, we're gonna have a picture of, you know, the crew or something, you know, painted onto this. We're obviously gonna, you know, take this. There's a little bit of skin on top of it. We're gonna bleach it out and it'll be all white. And in a couple months, I'll show you guys what we're gonna turn this beautiful masterpiece into. We went off and we went fishing with my great buddy Nick Stanzik. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description, of course. You know, we actually cut off the swordfish's beak and we're gonna do a bunch of cool art. You know, I love your fam and I will see you guys in the next awesome, crazy adventure. I love your fam, I'll see you later, bitch!